All right, hello everybody, and welcome. Today we're continuing our playthrough of Judgment. Wait, no, 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 Lost Judgment, the second game in the series. Yeah, part of the Yakuza series. All right, let me ch quickly check if the stream is running. Uh, title and category are good. Stream is running. That's my voice. That's my crazy voice. Microphone audio is good. Okay. Okay, back to Stream Manager. How do I do that? There we go. Yeah! We are we are learning. We're learning how to stream. Um, what do we have to do? Leave the high school, main story. Alright, let's let's main story this thing. Oh look, it's the cafeteria. Fudge. Hey, lunch lady. Alright. Uh, we actually don't have to order anything. Because our health bar is full. Yeah, you kind of only really eat uh, if, if your health bar is kind of whack. Um, how do I exit? This way, right? Let's go! Um, leave the school. Ah, oh, sketchy dude. This guy sells stuff. Hello. Alright, he yeah, had like a pebble, please. Wait, wait. He's gotta have some kind of rare item that I don't have, right? Let's check. Okay, 19... Because I, I could see how much of these items we have in stock. And I think we have all of these. Mysterious stone. Why is that so expensive? Let's buy a few more. Just in case we need it for crafting. Oh, we don't have these extracts, but we kind of don't need them. Arigato. Alright, we have to exit. I think the exit's this way. Bump, 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 bump. Oh, fudge. That's how you use doors. Press X to use door. <laughs> bada 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 bump. Oh man, okay. Loading screen. Awesome times. All right, this is why we had to leave the school grounds. The story. Oh yeah, I was gonna call. Uh, I was going to tell Saori-san about Sawa Sensei and Mamiya. Hey, Saori-san, it's Yagami. Hey, did you manage to talk to Sawa Sensei? Yeah, turns out she really was in Mamiya's class. And they were both aware of the suicide incident with their classmate. Oh no. Good to know. While we're on the topic, Oshinokun got his hands on some new info. Let's hear it. The bully at Kurokawa High was named Shinya Kawai. He transferred out right after Mitsurukun jumped, as if he were running away. Once he came okay. of age, it looks like he worked here in Kamurocho. Wow. You really can find a lot online. Okay, so Shinya yeah. is the bully. Kawai earned a reputation for talking about how he drove a classmate to suicide. Oh, like, man. proud of it. It's Maybe terrible. he thought he'd get a laugh in Kamurocho. Probably would. Kawai was more or less a Yakuza, so he never swore into it. Oh, man. I just sent you his picture. It was taken five years ago. Okay, so he's Yakuza. Mm -hmm. What? This guy? 
You recognize him? I do not. Not too long ago, some RK punks came asking his whereabouts. Oh. Said he was a girls' bar manager who went missing. Yeah, it looks like he did work at a girls' bar. But we don't know which one. Okay, so the guy's definitely suspicious. What business would RK have with him? Do you know if they ever found him? No. Mm -hmm. But their leader, Soma, said something about Kawhi having already been killed. Like he just vanished from Kamurocho a few years ago, and that was it. Wait, he was killed? Uh-huh. Kinda gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawhi and Mikoshiba, two known school bullies. And they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawhi. Could be. Okay. Hmm. We'll investigate Kawhi a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. Maybe it has to do with that politician is looking for that guy. That That's what I'm thinking. Didn't that lady become like a senator or something? So we have to figure that out. Da 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 da. -um. How was it, Sari san? What did Yagami san have to say? He said he recently ran into some RK members looking for Shinya Kawai. Did he? He also said RK later told him Kawai had been killed. Mm hmm. Uh, this is getting scarier with every new lead. Now that you mention it, I have seen people getting stopped and asked about someone all over town. But if those were RK on the hunt for Kawai, could it have something to do with our case as well? Hmm. Putting aside the connection between Mikoshiba and Kawai. Why is RK suddenly so involved? I'm honestly not sure how RK could be involved in all this. I'm going out for a bit, Hoshino-kun. Do me a favor and keep digging up what you can on Kawai. Wait, what? Sometimes you have to get out in the field. It can't just be- Wait, do we get to play Saori-san? No way! We get to play a Saori-san! You don't mean- you're going straight to RK for some answers? What else would I be doing? I need to know why they were looking for Kawai. Then I'm coming with. I can't just let you do that alone. Don't worry. It's still light out, and I plan on staying in the open. Besides, if I'm alone, they'll be more eager to talk. That may be, but still, I'll just call you about every ten minutes then. <laughs> for your safety. I okay. find that rather unnecessary. Okay, I'll put my phone on silent then. You sure? Gotta talk to the boss, Genda Sensei. Oh. If you're going out alone, keep your wits about you and get back safe. All right, Mr. Genda. Why, why am I doing Harlequin voice? <laughs> Alright, first, I'll need to find some RK members. Unlike Yakuza, they're hard to identify by appearance alone. But no worries, in times like these, it's good to know the owner of Tender. He's well connected. Oh, bartender. I remember that place. <laughs> oh, what a name. Yeah. Potato! Welcome! And a big peacekeeper! Salute you, Potato! How you doing? What'd you get to play last night? Peace Angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. Aw oh, man, after, after that gaming stream, I did a painting stream, Potato. I painted up some Marvel Crisis Protocol miniatures. So I painted up, uh, um, what is it? Black Widow and Red Skull. 
Yeah. All right. This is Bartender, the first place uh, Yagami-san worked. Wait, he worked there? Uh, when he arrived in the city. Cassette Beasts. What is Cassette Beasts? Is that anything like... Oh, it's a Pokemon-like game. It's pretty good? Cool. Like, why is it cassette, though? Like, old, like, music cassettes? That sounds pretty cool. Man, you know, I really wish there was some kind of Pokemon-like game in PlayStation, but there kind of isn't. Except for... Oh, what was that game? What was that game we were playing a while back, Potato? Uh... Nino Kuni. Oh, man, I gotta finish that game. <laughs> that one we collected Pokemon-type creatures in. Yeah. I gotta play that. Alright, the owner, Joe Masuda, always has his ear to the ground. I'm sure I could ask him where I might meet some RK members. It's kind of weird that we're playing Sari Song. Well, that's what we're doing. Wait, so Potato, was that like a multiplayer game? Because I remember you said you were going to play with friends. That'd be cool if there was a multiplayer Pokemon type oh, game. Is that Sari Chan I see? To what do I owe this pleasure? Nice oh, it's two too. players. That's oh, kind of cool. Hi. Say, aren't you one of Talk's lawyer friends? Let me look that, that up on YouTube on so then team? it's just me today. I can <gasps> save a Fine by me. Video. <laughs> 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 oh, that's things, Mari. Here I thought Damn I it, YouTube shorts. <laughs> exposing well. me. No one knows a lady's name. <laughs> I guess you can stay. Oh, man. Cassette Beasts. Okay. Let me just. Alright. You played via Steam Streamplay. Oh, you could stream on, on Steam now? Hello, everybody. Yeah, being a streamer now there. Potato. Uh, we are in Studio. Where's it Biden Studio? Okay, let me just we save this for here. later. Very um, we are the team for okay, cool. Interesting. The art style looks cool. I kind of like that. Oh man, I want to play a Pokemon game. Dun 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 dun. The music is super chill. So yeah, it looked like it, it's it's music based. You know what? You know what I heard? I heard. Well, where was I watching? Was it Angry Joe? They were talking about it. The YouTuber and they were talking about no no no. How kids today are just discovering cassette tapes. You know, like it. You know how, like, vinyl records became, like, a hot thing? So, like, kids, teenagers now are discovering cassette tapes, and now they're buying up, like, cassette tapes. And it's, like, the, the latest hot thing. And then I was going, like, is that true? And then I was remembering Itzy came out with a cassette tape version of their album, and even in a... Uh, one of the MVs, they featured like a Walkman cassette tape, you know, player. I'm like, it's wild. So, I don't know. I grew up with cassette tapes, so I don't know if you guys remember them. <laughs> it's like, I would always like do mixtapes, you know, because back in the day we had dual cassette tape recorders. So you could record songs onto tapes and then like give them out to friends. And then, and then when I learned Photoshop, because I used to also record like a bunch of K, not K-pop, J-pop songs on cassette tape. And then I would make custom, you know, custom covers that I would make in Photoshop and print them out and put them in the thing with like anime pictures and give them out or of J-pop uh, art, or not art, photos. And it was cool. It was a fun time back then. You're also old and know them? Yeah. So, cassette tapes were like 
you know, they were fun because they were recordable. I, I mean, I know CDs are recordable, but it was easier to do it on, on dual cassette tapes. Yeah. So music is a big part of that game then. Cool. I like what, I like music games. All right, what's sorry san saying? Huh, the two of them sure can keep up with each other. But if I'm going to ask questions, I better order a drink. Oh, it's not really? Ah. Oh. Well, at least there's music. All these bottles got you feeling lost? Care for a few pours? Yeah. Tox? It'll be our secret. Besides, a man with his tab can't complain. <laughs> You're too kind. And also, cassette tapes were kind of not a big deal back then. So I'm actually here to ask you. But, set up a you know, sharing uh, J-pop songs Darn. and stuff like that. And then, so like, with my cousins, call? whenever well, we visit our cousins, they would drive, we would always day. drive around, in it, you know, sure. in their cars and stuff. And, and they always had cassette players in their cars. So oh, it was fun. Please, you two are going to embarrass me. Fun just popping in my cassette apologies. tapes. I suppose being surrounded by such beauties has a timeless appeal, even at my age. I'll second that. Masuda here is looking at least a year younger. Oh, <laughs> was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> of course. If you got any younger, you'd be much too handsome. What's a girl mm -hmm. to say? And I'll second that. <laughs> Oh no, this isn't good. I'm getting so relaxed. I might forget about work. Anyhow, if you're after an RK rendezvous, the good news is those guys are everywhere. But it's not like a civilian can just stroll up and ask, Hey, are you RK? And expect to get an answer. You got that right. And Sauri Chan needs to ask them something that's kind of sensitive. Mm -hmm. oh, that's certainly going to make things challenging. Just a bit, yeah. So I say, why not let the boys do the chasing? Wouldn't be hard for an enchantress like you. But honey, we need to do something about your... Look, some nice clothes and a little makeup and you'd be unstoppable. Finally, my turn to second something. I suppose I would need to look approachable. Talk told me once that if you ever felt like it, Sauri Chan, you could put every hostess in Kamrojo to shame. I've got to admit, I'm curious. Well, a good hawk hides her talents. You're saying I should dress like a hostess? Oh this? no. Not Sauri Chan. Well, I'm sure there are other ways. But if you want a foolproof plan to snag an RK. You've got one. Oh, if you want, I can get you some looks. And you can choose what you like. I get the message. And I suppose I'll take you up on that. Okay. Then leave the rest to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I also remember, Potato? What was it? I did this in college. There was... Do you remember Chain Letters? <laughs> Sorry, son. So, there was a thing going around, like, not like chain letters, um, you know, like the scam ones. This one was just like a fun thing where it was like, oh, okay, uh, what was it? Um, somebody sends you like um what do you call it somebody sends you a mixtape and then of songs and then you make up your own mixtape and then i think you send one back to them and to somebody else like on the list like i think it's like two or three people that are on on the list and then you could expect to get some mixtapes back. And it was it was fun. I mean, but the mixtapes I got back were just so-so. <laughs> like it was people that mostly like like really indie punk. And I wasn't into that at the time. So but it was fun. <laughs> 
So, yeah, I remember making mixtapes on cassette and doing stuff like that. Alright, sorry, Chan. What are we picking here? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> okay. What matches her personality? God dang it. Are some of these even dresses? They just look like nightgowns. Oh no. <laughs> Roddy Rose Fox coming in at the worst possible time. <laughs> uh. Okay. I am playing Lost Judgment, but at, right now we're trying to investigate uh, some Yakuza, some mobsters, and she has to infiltrate the mobster group and has to dress nicely. So, yeah. So, yeah. What is it? Did I greet Potato? Potato! And Ruddy Rose Fox, welcome! And a big peacekeeper salute to the both of you. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. You thought it was a dress-up game? Uh, there's, you know, I can't say there's not aspects of that in the game, but there is. So let's let's pick one. Let's pick something nice. You know, I would pick the the suit, but I think it's not <sighs> not that great. Okay, I think this one's the classiest. Let's see. To be honest, you came just to throw some. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Don't do that, Fox. You're in another person's chat playing Master Duel? Oh, man! Just, uh, you were on a place. No! Oh, dude! Dude, that's too many bits! I appreciate it greatly, but, you know, don't feel like you have to do that, sir. Oh, my gosh. Ruddy Rose Fox, thank you for the bits! And thank you for being part of the Peacekeepers! A big peacekeeper salute to you. Let's give the special one out. Peace angels in the chat for you. May the angels protect and guide you. Thank you so much, Ruddy Rose Fox. And please enjoy your y games of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, one of these days I'll get back to playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel. As I would like to, you know, play a few games with everyone again. Yeah. But well, why not? I appreciate it, sir. <laughs> yeah, just... Oh man, I can't believe I'm in the weirdest part of the game. And we're here. But... <laughs> okay! Change dress color. No, this is fine. Oh fudge, we could, we could add tiaras? She needs glasses. Always has glasses. <laughs> Have a good night. Have a great night there, Fox. And I hope to play games with you again soon. Aliens Fire Team was pretty, pretty fun and like easy going for me. So I would like to to play more of that sometime. Or Master Duel. Yeah, Titanfall maybe when Dez is around too. Yeah. So. <laughs> Have a great night there, Ruddy Rose Fox. My gosh, bits. Oh, we gotta, we gotta do our bits emote. Where's our bits emote? There we go. Thank you again, Fox. Bits in the chat. Um. Oh man, do we got? We gotta be decked out completely I'd imagine she's religious fudge I hope I hope no one else comes in I 
think this matches her glasses. I don't know if that's a thing if you have to match accessories. Fudge, we're doing the nails too. Well, this is Sour Chan, so she's got to have that going on. Wait, do we have to pay for this stuff? No, it's free. It's all free. Okay, match the outfit. Okay, it's Sarichan, so she would have something like that. What is this? A popular perfume. Oh, these are perfumes. Uh, Mino. <laughs> it's like steak flavored. Show stopping perfume that keeps the wearer calm in any situation. Popular perfume that raises the wearer's spirits. Okay, this one. Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ! Man, me cursed! <laughs> no! Why are we doing this? Why, why are the game making me do this? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Delete the VOD. No, we gotta keep... Oh, fudge. Which one says Sari-chan? Like, none of it, actually? Hmm. Yeah, gotta fix it up a little. Alright, we're going... We're going crazy. We're going misty. Yeah, that's fine. This is... Oh. I don't even know what the difference is. Okay. Jesus. No. Okay. We're good! Yes, please. Oh man, that's like a free 4,000 XP. Da 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 dum. Whew, that was embarrassing. Oh, well, would you look at that? Talk was right on the money. I couldn't have imagined. You sure about that, Marisan? My I'm gosh. Really wearing this in front of you. What are you saying? You're so pretty. I wouldn't say so. You look Please, good. You're dynamite. Though, there is one thing that's missing. What's that? Pride. That's the final touch you need. Pride in your own beauty. Well, I I'm not sure yeah. I have that. Then how about your pride as a lawyer? You have that, don't you? As a lawyer? You look good. Yes, there it is. Go ahead and take a look. Just changing your stance is, uh, pride. Now that's the face of a girl who gets the man she wants. It's been a while since I've felt this way. I have you to thank for that. <laughs> These bad boys won't know what hit them. Yeah. 
Let's go dangle the bait. You mean us, right? You bet. Two nightlife girls like us alone on the street literally brings the RK boys running. Especially along Senrio Avenue. <laughs> Why don't we take a walk? Oh, brings all uh, the boys to the yard. Sure. I, I don't want to drag you into this. <laughs> are you kidding? And miss the chance to see this makeover in action? But really, I want you to succeed. I promise I won't be a bother. All right. Time to walk down Serio Avenue. Oh, Senrio Avenue. If any RK guys approach us, we'll reel them in. Then I can ask them about Shinya, Ka Shinya Kawai and see what they've found out so far. Alright, where is Senyo Avenue? We have to go up there. Alright. Man, that dress is really nice. I'm glad I picked it. Man, she does walk terribly, though. Okay. Where are we looking for? Alright, don't go ske down sketchy alleys. Oh man, that music. Bam, 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 bam. What are we supposed to be doing? Oh, we're almost there. Excuse uh -oh. me, ladies. You uh get lost on the way to the beauty pageant? Oh, uh -huh. for a drink. Maybe heading to work somewhere in town? Oh, we're just two girls bar hopping by our lonesome. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, in that case, why don't you roll with us? I know a great place. You could drink all you want. Wow, you guys loaded or something? We can throw them back, you know. You sure? Hell yeah. There's a place my buddy runs. I'd be thrilled to see some ladies like you. All right. <clears throat> if they're RK, then it might be good to take them up on the offer. But how can I know for sure? Let's see. You're just my type. You're with RK, right? Oh, you all done? I'm sure you know who. Okay. Um. Man, I don't want to say this. I don't want to say that either. I'm gonna do this. I'm sure you know who RK is. You wouldn't happen to know any of them, would you? You seem like you'd be popular enough. RK? Of course we know him. Why? You ladies about that thug life? Oh no. Well, I've heard RK boys know how to show a lady a good time. Things like they party like there's no tomorrow and spare no expense on fun. Mm-hmm. But sorry, John. Why limit yourself to RK? I think these boys are plenty attractive. <laughs> I'm starting to think we were meant for each other. Oh? What makes you say that? Wait. Don't tell me you're... Not supposed to be blurting it out, but yeah, we're RK and pretty high up too. Uh huh. Shoot, RK wouldn't be what it is now without us. We thought it'd get this big either. All right, looks like this went well. I knew they had to be with RK. Now all I have to do is ask them about Shinya Kawai. Why were Wait, why were they looking for him? RK has Kamrocho pretty much wrapped around its finger now, huh? Just about. The time of the Yakuza laying down the law is over. All that respect and chivalry shit. Dead, like all the old legends. 
Now the underground world is a jungle. Winning the fight's all that matters. Wow, must be hard. But I think that's hot. That reminds me. Weren't you RK guys looking for someone recently? A man who disappeared a few years ago? Oh yeah, him. We were looking for this dude who ran a girls' bar. All right, See? we're getting somewhere. I knew you guys would know what that's about. <laughs> oh well, five years ago he suddenly disappeared. But that's not even news in Congo, Joe. Hmm. That's so crazy, though. What happened to him? You ever end up finding the guy? Nah, didn't work out. No surprise, he was just a punk anyway. His name was Kawhi. Way uh -huh. I admit some of his old friends That's it. up on him one night. My guess is, there's trouble from another town catching up to him. Ijincho. Anyway, That's where he's they from. They argue for a bit. It ends with the guy getting shoved into a van. And that's the last time anyone saw the dude. Oh, it's probably the guys in the blue what face masks. Happened? I'm thinking they bumped him off. If he was still breathing, he'd be back by now. I don't he know. never even picked up his final paycheck. My guess, he's fish food now. Or they buried him on some remote-ass mountain. Could be. You have any idea who would have done that to him? Don't know. They say it was ten or so people. Young, both men and women. What? Like a gang thing. Who knows, right? It's probably the people that worked for that politician lady. Huh. A group of civilians shoved Kawhi into a van? And they were old acquaintances? Yeah, it has to be about the bullying and the suicide. Could they have been classmates from Kurokawa Academy? No. I'm just rushing to conclusions. But if you heard all that... There must have been witnesses, right? So you're saying someone actually saw him get shoved in a van? Yep. Some chick working at his bar saw it all go down. At least that's what we heard from a guy who heard it from that chick. Where is this bar anyway? You mean some random dive bar half a decade ago? Who the hell knows? A hundred places have sprung up and gone under since. Hmm. But then... Man, was that long ago? Shinya Kawai now? Did someone ask RK to find him? Think that's right? Hell if I know. It's a question for the top of the food chain. But hold on a sec. Can I ask you something? Huh? Just a minute ago, you mentioned a Shinya Kawai. How'd you know his full name when we never told you? Oh no. Oh, shit. You're only talking to us because you wanted dirt on Kawai. No! So who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm a lawyer! Doing? Let go of her! Who sent you? Wait a minute. I'm just an RK fangirl. We gotta go. I'm Saori Shirosaki, attorney at law. I'm Saori Shirosaki, attorney at law. Unhand me this instant. Oh, All right, Saori chan. You think I give a crap about what your job is? I'm saying things will go very badly for you if you keep this up. Big talk for a chick dressed to the nines to get info. Huh? Sorry, Chan? Yeah. You even try to fuck with us, lady! Sorry, Chan! Huh? What the? There you go. Beat it, punk. <gasps> it's kill you! Asshole! Oh my god. He's oh no, it's not cure you. Like it's not cure you. <laughs> no thanks needed. Just be careful on your. That was one of the RK guys. That's not cure. <laughs> Thank you so much, Higashi san. That was said, Higashi. You know, wait. How do you know my name? I uh, know potato. I was like, is that cure you? It's me, Shirosaki, from Genda Law Office. It's been a while. Holy shit! No way! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize. Shirosaki Sensei. I didn't recognize you. You look incredible. Alright. Charles Arcade. Oh, it's the arcade manager. That guy. The one who is incredible. This is all my fault. That Yakuza arcade the with the old Mars games. Danger. You really saved us. 
Young, strong, handsome. Ex Tojo That's clan. Three out of three for me. Those guys were RK. Town's practically overrun with them these days. All right, Toro Higashi-san, former Mats oh no, Matsugani family, member of the Tojo clan. Yeah, he's like a brother to Kaito-san, and he knows Yagami-san too. He also knows what's his name. No, no, no. Yeah, it was, it's Yagami. They they fight a lot. He runs his arcade full time now, but apparently he still keeps up with Yakuza fashion trends. If you'd like, I can escort you somewhere safe. I got nothing but time on my hands. Oh, you don't say. Perfect. Who says we can't still salvage some fun out of tonight? Oh, uh, before we do that, let me call Yagami-san. All right, Shinya Kawai was a bully 13 years ago. He vanished from Kamurocho when he was abducted by a group in a van. It seems like they were all people he knew, and it's possible they were his classmates from Kurokawa Academy. Yagami's still a jackass, I see. When Shirosaki Sensei calls, you pick up in two rings. Yeah. It is strange that he's not picking up. Why is I'll he not picking again. up the phone? That's our main character. 6,000 XP. Nice. Da 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 da. Oh man. Wait, okay, here we go. Uh-huh. Kind of gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawai and Mikoshiba, two known school bullies, and they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. Oh. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawai. Could be. Okay. We'll investigate Kawai a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. All right, thanks. Hmm. Now I guess I wait for Sawa Sensei. Still a lot of time before the faculty meeting ends. Huh. It's a message from Amasawa. Dang it, Amasawa. Yagami san! One of my underclassmen wants to talk to you. Could you come to the club room again after class? If it's not too much trouble. It's always too much trouble, Amasawa. Alright, no problem. <laughs> Amasawa wants to talk about her underclassmen? I've got time, so I might as well go see what that's all about. Oh yeah, there might be some new jobs over at Tsukumo's office, too. It's still a bit before the faculty meeting ends. <clears throat> I should kill time elsewhere. Huh. <sighs> Alright. Okay, I'm totally gonna forget about the Tsukumo job, so let's do that first. And then we'll go see Amasawa. Let's see. How far is his office? Um... It's around here somewhere, isn't it? How, how come I can never remember where that is? Here it is. That's not that far. Okay. Yeah. Back to the future. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oh man, I can't remember what the Back to the Future music is. That, that, that. That's not the. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't remember. I almost thought it was the Hip to Be Square song, but it's probably not. Oh fudge! 
Okay. What's this? Kill some time. Uh, 600 points. Sun starting the set. The faculty meeting should be over now. God dang it. Time to go back to the faculty room. Uh, maybe. Is there really a timer for this? Let me just go to the Sukumo's office and then come back. Hold on. I know we got a whole bunch of... Oh, we got 21k SP. So we should spend this like um, Tiger health boost, increase maximum health, increase maximum health, increase maximum health. We should always increase... Ma oh, no, no, no. There was the thing that gives us more SP. Uh, increase attack damage. That's always good, but we need the thing that gives us more SP right away. There we go. Gain 200% more SP after battle. See, that's that makes a lot more sense. As that will just help us in the long run. There we go. You have unlocked a new skill. Okay, so... 200% more is like... If 100% more is double... Then like... 200% more is like, what, four times? Something like that? Okay. Tip the B square. Dent. 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 I'm addicted to love. Bump. What is it? This way? Oh, fudge. <laughs> Looking at the mini map. Oh no, it's back here? Ah, here. Okay. Any packages arrive for us? No. Alright, what's this? Oh, fudge. The kitchen. Huh, change of scenery might be nice. Decorate the room. Really? Oh, this is where we put our... Our coin, our vending machine toys. Select item. You have no items to place. Okay. Yes. Hey, Sukumo. How's the League of Legends going? Alright. Uh, here we go. Let's see. How are the jobs looking right now? Please investigate a corporate spy. That's a lot of money. Okay, get this. Accept case. Kazuto Jumonji. Man. I don't like anything that sounds like Jumonji. I guess he's some kind of author. Dang, Yagamishi. You've really made a name for yourself if you're getting a request from Kazuto Jumanji. Hmm? Oh, you know him? Of course! Kazuto Jumanji is the hottest author around. He took the world by storm two years ago. Ended up one of the best-selling authors of our time. His first book was this mystery story with a Yakuza protagonist. And later it was adapted into a movie. It's a big hit series now. He's also known for being really productive, publishing two or three new books a, a month. Nobody can write that fast. It's AI. It's AI, pal. Does that mean 
That's, uh, kind of unbelievably fast, isn't it? Yeah, it almost seems impossible. And he writes in so many different genres as AI. Like, his debut was a hard-boiled mystery. But then the next one was a science fiction high school drama. And lately he's been branching out to moe light novels and original manga scripts. He's so versatile. Oh. Ah, pretty impressive. And this is the guy who sent me a request? Maybe he felt the connection because I've worked on cases for editors and authors in Kamurocho before. And who knows, Yagamishi? You just might get a peek into the true mystery of Kazuto Jumonji. Hmm? Oh, what do you mean? He's a masked author. Nobody knows his true identity. Hmm. Ah, a masked author, you say? Oh, yes. And he is a serious and he is serious about that mask. He's never shown his face to the media. Apparently, even at his publisher house, only his editor knows who he is. But lots of people think he's actually an established big name author, in part because he definitely doesn't write like a rookie. Oh, an established author, eh? But that's just one theory. There are so many theories about his identity. You can read them online. I see. Ah, that's intriguing. I'm really looking forward to meeting this masked author now. <laughs> Raid incoming. Golden Experience 01. Thank you, Golden! Wait a minute. Wait, are you from TG's stream? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't. Don't raid me! That's not... No, please don't raid. I'm, well, I'm glad it's not the Saurichan sequence right now. But I highly appreciate it. Well, let's, let's figure out the author. What if he actually wears a literal mask? <laughs> Yagamishi. Thank you, Golden! And thank you anyone who's here. And Potato. A big peacekeeper! Salute to you all! Peace angels in the chat. Hey, the angels protect and guide you. I am playing a uh, lost judgment now. We're investigating crimes. Alright. Don't forget to tell me if you find out who he, who he really is, Yagamishi. Nope. I don't think I'll be doing that. Confidentiality, you know. Well... Ah, oh, that's a bummer. So, his office is in Kamurocho. Not very uh, fitting for a trendy author. Well, remember, his hit series is set in Kamurocho, with uh, Yakuza as the hero. Maybe he's just making it easy uh, to do his research. The realism of his stories is another reason why they're popular. Hmm. Ah, I see. Then I wonder if we've already walked past each other. I'm gonna see the client now. Alright, wait, can we only take one job at a time? Let's see, how are the jobs looking right now? Uh, please investigate corporate spy, the forbidden taste. Oh, this is the ramen one that we still haven't found. There's like a ramen uh, stall that it's a mystery and we still haven't found it. All right, find our runaway game director. Okay, let's do that. Accept. So, someone needs me to hunt down a video game director. Pretty unusual job. Guess I should hear the client out. All right, Tsukumo, enjoy your League of Legends. I'll be out working. Okay. Have fun. Da 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 da! All right, we gotta investigate crimes, but first we gotta get back to the high school. All right, where's the high school? Uh, here it is. Okay. All right, we're doing it '80s style. On a Back to the Future hoverboard. Bam, bam, bam. 
Oh man, I don't know. I can't, I can't sing 80s songs. Alright, oh, I missed the turn. Well, we'll go this way. <gasps> Cats! Always, okay, always parkour and stop for cats. Hey, you! It's been a while. The name, huh? Alright, we named this one... I always named them by their fur color. So, I probably named this one Honey. Honey! Uh, wanna play for a bit? Okay, I'm gonna give Honey some food. Alright. I don't know exactly what they like, but... The way I do it is I just pick whichever looks like them on the can. So, this one. Alright. Hand it over. There we go. See them hearts? Level up. Popularity. <laughs> okay. Wow, really putting it away there, aren't you? Makes me wonder how that tastes. <laughs> Plus ten. Oh, looks like I've got a present for from a little someone. Book of the Brink. Right, man, the cat gave me a book. The skill Verge of Death Brink Strike has been unlocked. Learn how to use it from the skills app in the pause menu. Okay, Verge of Death Brink Strike. Thank you, cat. I really appreciate the murderous martial arts skills. Okay, where would that be? Here. Uh, no? Well, it's not here. Is it here? How much points do we have? 6,000? Well, we just have to spend it however we see fit. Can't afford any of this. Boost grip level. No, we don't need that right now. Um, abilities. EX Desperate Flurry. Press triangle near a downed enemy when your health is low. Yagami climbs onto an enemy and desperately punches the crap out of them. <laughs> Rapidly press the prompted button to deal more damage. <laughs> All right, let's... This doesn't sound so good. Well, we'll pick that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Doing this 80s style. <laughs> I know, potato. Wait, what's this? Why does that guy have a purple thing over his head? Why, why you got purple over your head? Why are you dressed in gold? Oh, fudge! It's a dude that's gonna... <gasps> Look at me dodge. Really nice. Fudge! Oh my god, this guy's tough. Special attack. Nice. Oh man, I'm so good at this. Desperate flurry! No, we have to be low on health. Fudge. I'm just gonna keep spamming that move. Oh no! Probably should block. Um... There we go. Oh, I missed it! Oh, I missed... I could've... I could've had a McFlurry. Look at that. What a waste. This is called spamming all the buttons. It's button mashing. Oh, 
right, we should probably heal. Mm, we could heal at the school. Let's beat these guys up first. Hey dudes, are you bad guys? You're bad guys. Oh, no stomp. There we go. Really, guys? Where's the high school? Oh, it's still... It's up this way. Macy, hello! Mpac! And Knuff! Potato! Po gamer! And Lucas! Clown Raid? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, and Dax! Welcome, Dax! Welcome, everybody! Is this really a raid? Let me see. Two grown! Subscribe to tier one? No, you don't have to do that, TG! Your mana's no good here. It's, uh, it's only friends here. Fudge, fudge, fudge. Okay. A big peacekeeper! Salute to everybody! Peace Angels in the chat! May the angels protect and guide you, everyone, and thank you, TG, for being part of the Peacekeepers. Fudge, look at this guy. We are busy investigating crimes and beating up ne'er duels. TG, oh man, I was watching. The Valorant is fun. It's kind of, it's really cool to see uh, squad games going on. Clap the cheeks. Look at this guy in the gold suit. Oh, oh no, I gotta heal. <laughs> so but you guys gotta remind me to heal. See, in order to heal we have to eat uh we have to eat healthy food. Fresh lettuce sandwich. There we go. <laughs> I know, I wish I could get a PC. I kind of think you're buying a... See, I don't know if you could play games on a Mac. Wait a minute, there's a time limit to beating this guy? Oh no. Alright, have a great day, sir. Yeah, because I want to edit YouTube videos for next year. I, I got to learn video editing somehow, and I think the best way to do that is through a Mac. DM you, DM you them to. Oh, wait, what What Lucas say? Do you need the Valo aimbot? Yeah, TG. You know, when the pandemic was going on, and then uh, Som and Gator were getting into uh, Valorant when it first came out, they were playing uh, aimbot like nonstop for a while, and then they got really good at their aim. Uh, TG, so that, I highly recommend you do what they did because that'll teach you the mouse and keyboard stuff like really, really well. Oh, yeah, yeah, aim, aim labs. <laughs> oh man, aim labs, that's what aim bot. <laughs> yeah, aim labs, that's what I remember them playing. They had to, like, shoot a bunch of balloons, and then, like, you know, it's, like, fun little activities you do to practice your aim. Yeah. By the way, before everybody goes, because I know there's going to be a lot of lurking, uh, everybody, I've been trying really hard on my YouTube channel, which is uh, the same chat, same username, the War Game Peace, you know, YouTube channel. Uh... Please check that out, everyone. It's not only the VODs from Twitch, but I've been putting up a lot of YouTube shorts and stuff like that. Subbing, thank you, Golden. Oh, my gosh. 
Yeah, uh, you know, if if anything catches your eye and looks good, you know, please like and, and comment so that, you know, YouTube will recognize me in the algorithm. So, yeah. So, and if you're a big sci-fi nerd and like the same stuff I do, like Star Wars and Marvel, you know, hopefully we could be friends. <laughs> yeah. How do I get into the school? Is there here? Thank you, Knuff. And thank you, Golden. I got this? Thank you. Thank you, TG. There we go, Lucas. Yeah, that's the YouTube channel over there. I was going to say, like, the link. The link should be somewhere in my about page or something. And Gondo. You're, in, you're a mod. You almost bend it back on the impulse. I know, Gondo. I don't know what we'll do. But you don't know how. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have to go explore. We have to talk to Amasawa, who is on the first floor. Here. And how do I get there? Minimap. Um. Here. And then through this door? Front door. But yeah! Damn, I got nice thumbnails. Okay, you know what the trick to doing thumbnails is? Is using free thumb, uh, free templates on this app called Canva, which is in, uh, I use it, it's in the Apple store, like, um, on the iPad and iPhone. So it's called Canva. And then you just have to click in there and then it's like a lot of free templates for thumbnails, uh, making logos and a lot of things. There's some things that are paid pro stuff, but you don't have to use those. And then you just have to look for a thumbnail that looks really good to you and then change the text and then add your own photo of what you want to put and then save and then just post on your uh, on your your YouTube video it's super nice to and it's kind of it's free and it's a I believe it's a recommended app on on Apple for old time sake let's see you were in Little Manila last week Gondo on the 7 train like in Roosevelt Avenue Dude, guys, by the way, any of you guys that went with Gondo to, uh, to, like, the little Manila or Filipino area in Queens, that's where I grew up around. <laughs> so you guys were in the neighborhood I grew up in, and where my, uh, my dad's dental office is around near there, and actually where my apartment above my dad's office is, but I haven't been there in a few years since the pandemic. I've been out in the suburbs. But yeah, if you guys were there with Gondo, I've been to those restaurants. <laughs> and that's like, yeah, that's the area I grew up in. Yeah. It's super fun because when uh, Gondo was telling me about it and was showing pictures, I was like, God damn, that's my old neighborhood. <laughs> Gondo didn't invite you, Impact? Well, next time. But the thing is, the twice, uh, the twice concert this year was in uh, in New Jersey, so you wouldn't be near that area in in Queens. The food was really good. Cool potato. There's another place that I like. Uh, I would recommend also. It's a little farther from that area, but not too far. It's just um, I don't know what was it. Tito. Rods. That's the place I like a lot. But that's on Queens Boulevard, maybe maybe 10 to 15 blocks away from there. And that's not too far from that area. That's where I would go for Filipino food. Yeah, it's 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 just off the 7 train, like an earlier stop. 
My gosh, I can't believe you guys were in my old neighborhood. That's so cool, actually. <laughs> but sorry I didn't get to meet you guys. I was out in the suburbs, about two hours away. So... <laughs> but yeah. It was kind of funny, because that's how, that's how I got to know Shamkis. Because Shamkis was messaging me about if I knew the area where you guys were originally going to have hotel rooms in Queens. And then I was telling Shamkis, don't... Don't get a hotel in that area. That's not a good area. <laughs> you, like, your original hotel that you guys were going to go to was near, like, uh, like taxi depots and, like, an uh, electrical generation plant. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys were able to get a better hotel in Manhattan. Yeah. The coincidence. I know. Like, sometime... We got to cross paths and hopefully I get to meet you guys. Yeah. Pretty cool. Da 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 da. But yeah, Gonda, definitely check out Tito Rods when when you get the chance. Yeah. Yeah, are you are you there right now, Gondo? In Queens? Oh no, it's not Rods, it's Rads. But you say it as Rod. Tito. Rods. Next time Shankus goes to NYC, you'll recommend a motel in Bedford Stuyvesant. It's, it's Brooklyn, right? I believe. Yeah. Where do you stay, Gondo, when you're over here? Like, do you stay in that area in Queens? Um, we gotta go this way. Where the heck is Amasawa's office? Here. Alright, Amasawa. Dun dun dun. Did I greet the raid? If you, if you weren't greeted again, a big peacekeeper! Salute everyone! Peace angels in the chat. Yeah, the angels protect and guide you. My gosh, that peace angel emote, by the way, was drawn by one of my little cousins. Well, no longer a little cousin, because she already graduated college and art school. So I had her make, make the emote. Yeah. Oh, you stayed in Times Square? Nice. Man. How is Times Square these days? Is it still busy? Man, I haven't been inside Manhattan since before the pandemic so that's why i haven't seen you guys oh man because i know they made a lot of changes so you guys go to that uh k-pop store that's near the uh what do you call it near the empire state building it's uh what is it choreo books that's where i used to go to get my k-pop albums yeah <laughs> Times Square is still the same? Cool. The only thing I remember they took out was there used to be uh, a, uh, what do you call that place? A Yoshinoya, like Japanese beef bowl place in Times Square that I would go to after anime conventions. And they took it out. So, yeah, sad. But I'm sure there's better places. Yeah. You go sometimes there. My cousin was telling me there's a better K-pop store, but I forgot the name of it and I forgot the address. So, ah oh man. But yeah, I think there was one that opened around after the pandemic. Boom. All right, let me voice act the game. Sup, Yagami-san? Oh, Kento-kun. Well, this is a rare sight. Whenever I think he's showing up for real, he just takes a nap and goes straight home. Kento. Hey, Kento. Shouldn't a member of the MRC actually, you know, read some mysteries? No. Let's see, Gondo says there's one near Columbus Square, your Central Park. That's actually not... Okay, Columbus Square, that's 
the opposite corner of where the Apple store is, right? Hold on, let me make a note of that. That way I will know in the future. Okay. K-pop store Columbus Circle. Yeah. If you guys didn't know, I am a New Yorker. But ever since the pandemic, I have moved out of the city and I'm in the suburbs in an undisclosed location. But yeah, I grew up in New York City, so I know the place kind of well, but not really, really well because I don't drive. So I take, took the subway everywhere and trying to explore everywhere by foot is difficult. Okay, let me save that. K-pop store, Columbus Circle. I will look that up. I'll put it in my notes. Yeah, BRB potato, no problem. Oh, and for anybody that's wondering that that's new here, I am playing a game called Lost Judgment. It's part of the Yakuza Like a Dragon series, but it's a side story. And the main character is uh, Yagami, who was who used to be a lawyer but is now a private detective and is investigating a murder and a lot of other crimes. Yeah, and right now it was a murder in a high school. So he's kind of gotten into the high school culture, being a advisor to some of the school clubs, and is trying to investigate what happened with the bullying, which led to a murder. Yeah. All right, Kento. Nah. If I read too much, I get super sleepy. Though, now that you mention it, maybe I could use a nap. Huh, you're unreal. Wait a minute, hold on. I gotta look up in the chat. Forgot if I missed anything TG said. Oh yeah, I missed TG. Okay, I hate when I do that. All right, he says, war game, I have to get some sleep. My dude, you have a great rest of your stream. And uh, see you, everyone. Ah, oh, man, I didn't get to see TG off. All right, TG. Thank you very much for the raid. You know, if you see this. A big peacekeeper salute to you, TG. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. Oh, my gosh. Very thankful to Two Grown. Two Grown helped me get through the pandemic and learning how to twitch and YouTube so yeah da -da 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 -dum. what do we got here uh, Amasawa so you're unreal let's see Diane how's it going it's going well TG just raided so a bunch of people are here so yeah, Diane, a big peacekeeper, salute you, Diane. And you know what's interesting, Diane? Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. So my uh, Amazon Prime now has an option to get a, a Crunchyroll subscription, like through the Amazon Prime app. And I'm debating whether to do that, but there's like a one week free trial so I gotta find a week that I have nothing to do and just binge a lot of anime. It's not for free. It's like there's a one week free trial, but you watch it within the Amazon Prime app, which I have built into the TV and on my iPad. And I already have an Amazon Prime account, but then when you subscribe to it, uh, it's I think $8 a month, which sounds reasonable. But what's nice is I don't have to sign up, you know, uh, on a separate website. I just have to pay through it through my Amazon account, if that makes any sense. Because on Amazon Prime, you could subscribe to like a whole bunch of different channels like HBO, uh, Paramount, and things like that. And then you just pay, pay for it through your Amazon, Amazon account. So yeah, if you have any uh, any anime recommendations, please let me know. 
but it has to be the best. So, so I can see if I can binge it in a week for the free trial. But I think if it's good enough, I'll, I'll, I'll at least subscribe to it for a couple months. And what's easy is because uh, my dad has tried some channels on my Amazon Prime before. And it's really easy to unsubscribe if you didn't like it. So, because it's all through the Amazon app. And it's, it's super convenient. Oh yeah, I definitely want to watch uh, Spy Family. <laughs> Looks hilarious. Yeah. Let's see what's going on here. Amasawa. Oh right, Amasawa. Where's uh, Itakura? There she is. She's gonna be mad at us oh. all the time. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh. Ah. Oh, hey. Been a while. Oh. Hmm. It's a pleasure. Would you believe I joined the MRC too? Well, nice seeing ya. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. They don't like each other? <laughs> oh, well, I guess she still hates my guts. Hey. Oh, what do you mean? So... Uh... I was on the Cultural Festival Committee with Itokura. Uh -huh. Cultural Festival Committee? Wasn't Takanashi from the dance club on that too? Yeah, so you've heard of it, Yagami-san. So actually... Itakura led the committee, but was kind of a tyrant. She had a way of bringing the mood all the way down. In the end, everyone kind of started boycotting the meetings. And then Itakura... <laughs> And then, Itakura would show up. Basically, the cultural festival was a massive fail. Pretty tragic, if you think about it. Uh, I I'm sure it was extremely difficult for Itakura-san. Does that mean... Wait a minute. If you were also a member, Kento-kun, then doesn't that mean... Mm -hmm. uh, yep. I'm one of those... <laughs> I'm one of the ones who turned my back on her, too. Nah. Good lord. But... Don't get me wrong. I totally feel like I did Itokura dirty. I've wanted to apologize ever since. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Uh, you think maybe my timing kinda sucked? I'm going after Itokura. Uh, huh. Ah, alright. Oh no, well, that was Yagami. Yeah, definitely Spy Family, Diane. What are you? Anything you're watching lately, Diane, that you think is really good? Also, where did Itakura run off to? Hey. Hey, guys. Any of you see a girl named uh, Kotoko Itakura? Uh, small, kind of long hair. She should have passed by here. Uh... Itakura-san. Oh, right. The ex-chairman of the Cultural Festival Committee. She went upstairs a bit ago. She might have gone to the roof. I see Itakura-san there all the time. Uh. Yeah. She'll even be on the roof during class, too. Think she's having a tough time coming back to class? <laughs> it's gotta be awkward as heck. I mean, we'd feel pretty awkward if she showed up. <laughs> Let's see, Diane says, you guess you started watching Critical Role on YouTube? Oh, yeah, Critical Role. Or were you wanting more anime? Well, I wanted to know if there was anything good on Crunchyroll. But yeah, ah oh, man, I'm hearing a lot about Critical Role lately. So, and I do love the Dungeons and Dragons, so... Plus, I gotta watch that anime. Well, the animation they put out on... What was it? Is it on HBO, right? No, 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 no. It's on Amazon Prime. I do have to watch that. Wait a minute. Bits again, Fox? Welcome, Ruddy Rose Fox. A big peacekeeper salute to you. And, whoops. Dropped the controller. Peace Angel's in the chat for you. May the angels protect and guide you. 
And thank you for the bits. Bits emote. There we go. F. I know I dropped the controller. <laughs> it's under the chair. Let me get it. There we go. Let's see. Diane says... Yep, it's on Amazon Prime. Legend of Vox Machina. I know I watched the first episode. And then they got like a whole town killed. And I was like, okay, this is a little rough. <laughs> and then I stopped watching. Oh, man. I was like, they were just not serious. And then got everyone killed. But I should watch it too. There you go. Bit Wait a minute. Wait a minute, dude. Fox. That's too many bits. Too many bits there, Fox, but I appreciate them. And I hope we get to play some more games sometime. But also, sometimes when I'm playing single player games, you know, please feel free to hang out without without having to post bits and like that. But yeah, thank you for being one of the peacekeepers, Fox. A big peacekeeper salute to you. Peace Angels in the chat. Hey, the angels protect and guide you. Oh my god, Fox. So that flower is one of my mom's favorite flowers that she uh, had planted in the front of the house and that bloom like every spring. So yeah, my mom passed away a few years ago. So I have that there to remind me of my mom. So thank you for using that emote. Not a lot of people use that one. Yeah. I took that photo. Is there's a flower in front of the house? Yeah, I know. So, I got some meaningful emotes there. Thank you, Ruddy Rose Fox. Okay, so let's see what's happening in the game. Oh yeah. Huh? You can say that again. <laughs> ah, thanks. I'll check the roof then. I don't mind if I'm. Uh, if I have to do the voice acting, I can also chat. <laughs> yeah. And thank you for the wholesome emote. No, 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 no. <laughs> you don't have to you don't have to cheer and keep doing the bits. That's for that's for the serious Twitch streamers. We're all about hanging out here for just being friends. But thank you, Fox, for more bits. A big peacekeeper <laughs> salute to you. Oh my god, I'm gonna end up being one of those uh ice cream so good streamers. <laughs> oh no, please don't let me do that. Peace angels in the chat for you, Fox. May the angels protect and guide you. Yeah. Let's see, Yagami here says Ah, is that what everyone really thinks about Itakura? I wouldn't want to go to class either. All right, we have to we have to calm Itakura down. She's on the roof. You know, people are bullying her, and she might, you know, do bad. You know, she might be in some distress. So let's go to the roof. Let's see. But the serious Twitch streamers. Reactions are mat mid, and it's more fun to see me react. Thank you, Ruddy Rose Fox. I wish uh, you know everybody tells me I should get a PC so I could do more pro streamer stuff. But it'd be cool to do reactions. But see, uh, I don't know if I could do reactions to things because I know there's copyright and oh, I don't want to get copyright strikes. You keep being told to get a PC as well? I know. I'm like, there's so many good games on PlayStation and then I could stream off of PlayStation. You know, and it's what I could afford. <laughs> Is this Itakura? All right. Story time. Itakura. Ah, here you are, Itakura. This is the worst. It feels like a cockroach just crawled into my room. Hey. Ah, 
Must be a cozy spot if you feel like it's your own room, huh? Ugh. Listen, Itakura, are you willing to stay in the MRC? <laughs> Only if you exterminate that cockroach. Uh. You know, you know I can't do that. Uh. Let's see. Uh, Fox, you're gonna go to sleep? You've got to sleep lit. Oh, you, you've gone to sleep late in the last three nights. I know! We were playing like a lot of video games the other day. It was like a fun five-hour stream. Yeah, Ruddy Rose Fox, yesterday we were we were playing uh, Aliens Fire Team, which was pretty fun. <laughs> it was a pretty long stream. So yeah, get some good sleep there, Fox. And I hope to see you again soon. A big peace keep salute you, Fox! And I hope to see you again soon. No bits the next time. Yeah, just fun chatting. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, what is Itakura saying? Man, then maybe I should just... Hmm, the professor, was it? They might know how to handle a, a roach problem. Oh no, please don't do that, Itakura. Huh? Hey, come on. Hmm. Look here. Anyway, I don't want to see a stupid face right now. I have zero desire to do anything for that club. Hmm. Well, that's gonna be a problem. I already told the chairman to hold off on serving your tuition waiver. Oh, that's uh, Yagami. Yeah, I already told the chairman to hold off on severing your tuition waiver. Since you'd still be a part of the MRC. You. Doop doop. Then do something about it. Ah, how can I convince her? Let's see. Wanna just start a U club? Why not join the robotics club? <gasps> yeah, we need her to join the robotics club because she knows uh, programming. And they need a new programmer. Let's see, skipping school isn't such a big deal. No, 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 no. You join the robotics club. Then why don't you join the robotics club? Huh? Robotics? Itakura, you said you know programming, right? I suppose. Well, compared to the other idiots around here, sure. There's this first year boy, uh, Sakura, who's been having trouble with programming. If you came to help out, I'm sure it'd be really appreciated. Uh-huh. As for the MRC, just show up when you think you can. <sighs> Hold on. So, this robotics club... Look here. Oh man, Kuramazaki is in there, right? The one barely speaks? Um. Yeah, he, he's a member. What, you don't like him either? Uh, he and I have some history. Hmm? History? Mm. <laughs> he's still a step up from Amasawa's brother. Uh, he's pretty harmless. Good. I think the robotics club is gonna find ways to keep someone with your talent pretty busy. Anyway, the chairman won't cut off your tuition waiver as long as you show your face in some club. Hey. What a pain. Is school really even that important? I bet I'd get by just fine without it. Well, even if that were true, haven't you made any friends? What about Amasawa? <laughs> You call that a friendship? Yeah, right. You made a new connection because you chose to take a step forward. Plus, it looked like you were having a good time chatting, if I'm if I'm being honest. Hmm. It'd be such a waste to give up now. You might even discover something new in the robotics club. Ah. Got it. Fine. 
Wait, so you'll come then? Look here. You just make sure to tell the chairman about the waiver thing, okay? Yeah. Of course. Leave that to me. Just so you know. Oh, by the way, I don't plan on quitting the MRC either. Wouldn't want it to look like a, I let a cockroach get the best of me. Figured as much. Alright. By the way, Diane, how far into the Box Machina show are you? I mean, the... what do you call it? Both of them. Yagami -san. The animation and the, uh... The... what do you call it? Live play? Or actual play? You know, I don't know what they're calling it these days. Yeah. The anime... you finished season two? How many seasons are there? Man, because I'm looking for, you know, new shows to get into. Like, I think the only thing I've been watching lately was Loki, and Loki finishes this week. So, I need some new stuff to watch. And I also, oh, everybody. Like, I don't go to the movie theater, so I always watch things late when they come up on streaming. I finally got to watch, uh, what was that, Spider-Man... The animated one, the the Miles Morales, is it Across the Spider Verse, the second movie, it was so good, but the ending, it's like, oh man, I, well, I just want more right now, so the the ending it ends in a cliffhanger if anybody didn't know, but it's so good, but I wanted to see what happened, <laughs> yeah. Across the Spider-Verse Part 2? Yeah. Oh, man. So good. And the animation style was like... I liked it. I liked the animation style better than the first one. So. And it was cool to see... I, You know what? They, they focused a lot on... What's her name? Gwen Stacy? Yeah. And she... Her character arc was pretty cool. Yeah, and they introduced a lot of the Spider-Verse characters who, you know, I was not familiar with, but they're really cool. All the different versions. Yeah. All right, this is... Oh, 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 Okitegawa? Okay. Okitegawa. Yeah. I know, there's so many spider people. And apparently, you know, they've all appeared in the comics before. But, you know, I haven't, you know, I don't think I've ever bought a Spider-Man comic. So I haven't read any of them, so I'm not familiar. But they're really cool. Really cool things. Let's see. Yagami-san, who's this? She's an applicant for the Robotics Club. What? Da-da-da-da. Oh, and Diane says the live show stream, you're on episode 20. Cool. Are they all on YouTube, Diane? Like, they have a YouTube channel and it's all there? Or do I have to go to some other streaming thing to watch it? Da -da, for Vox Machina. Let's see. Oh, she'd like to join? Uh, this is Kotoko Itokura, second year. She's pretty familiar with programming. I think she'll be a big help to Sakura-kun. Right, Uitakura? Man, trying to pronounce all of this is... My brain hurts. Look here. You do know there's more than one programming language, don't you? I can't say so much until I look at it. Huh? Itakura-senpai. That I Kotoko Itakura-san? Hmm? Hmm, you know her? Uh, I saw the program she made in her first year workshop. Her code was perfect. Beautiful, even. What? You really think so? Yes. Uh, absolutely. It was so clean and minimal, which gave it an e efficient elegance. I could tell you were brilliant just by looking at it. Yay! To be taught by the very same Itakura-senpai. Uh, I'm thrilled, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that. 
Someone gets me after all. Excuse me? Uh, my current issue is getting the robot to move. Because it won't. Could you maybe take a look? Let's see, what's Diane saying? Uh, just search Critical Role Campaign 1 on YouTube and there's a playlist. Okay, good that it's on YouTube. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was going to be on another thing. Because you know what I also watched? I watched on VRV, which is like a Crunchyroll side app. Like, yeah, well, it's owned by Crunchyroll before, but they kind of closed down VRV. They used to have a live play that I watched. Uh, Harmon Quest, which was by Dan Harmon and his group of friends. And that you could only watch on VRV. And uh, what do you call it? Like the first season was free, but the second one you had to pay. So I didn't get to watch the second season. Dan Harmon is the guy that I think created Rick and Morty. So <laughs> it was a pretty fun one. And the thing is, the, the live play was a mix of the group at the table and then animated scenes of what the story was going on. Because they had animators do some of the scenes. Let's see. So Vox Machina is currently on campaign three. If you wanted to start there, though. Is it like, you know, should I, I think you, is it all the same characters in each season? Because if it is, then I should probably start at the first season, right? Man, that sounds like there's a lot of Critical Role episodes, but I might as well start from the beginning. Let's see, not Vox Machina. And different group. Oh, so Vox Machina is not the main group? I mean, is I mean, it's not always the ones doing throughout all of Critical Role? Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know there were different groups. Okay. Fox Machina is campaign one. Okay. What are the other groups called? Or do they have group names? Because I don't think I've heard of the other groups. If, unless, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's Sakura saying? Ah! Campaign group is Mighty Nine. I think I've heard that name, but I don't recall where. But not as much as, as Vox Machina. And campaign group is Bell's Hells. That one I've never heard of at all. So yeah, I probably should start at, at the, the the first campaign with Vox Machina, especially if it ties into the anime uh, animation. Yeah. I mean, this music could get annoying. <laughs> let's, let's advance the story so we're out of this music. All right. Oh, my current issue is getting the robot to move, but it won't. Could you maybe take a look? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Sure. Why not? Yay! Uh, great. Yagami-san. Uh, thank you. Sakura's a little wet behind the ears. Uh, oh no, this is uh, Otakegawa. Uh, which is why he's being... S s why he's been struggling. Let's see, Diane says you were saying they are currently on campaign 3 live stream. Oh, so you're saying I should start with... Uh, Campaign three because that would be like what well, what's their schedule? Is it weekly? And then I could watch it live? So it goes live on YouTube? Do you know when that usually happens? Or is it on Twitch or YouTube? It's weekly on Twitch on Thursdays. What is it? Is the webs is the Twitch channel just Critical Role? Cause I don't think I follow them, so maybe I should. Let me go. Let me go look that up, guys. <laughs> Sorry. To... 
because uh, I've been wanting to get into watching D&D content. They store the stream vids on YouTube. Okay. But if I want to watch it live, it'll be on Twitch. Let me look that up. Search. Critical Role. There it is. Yeah, I actually don't have them followed. Follow. Next stream is... November 9, that's tomorrow, 10 p.m. Alright, pretty cool. Oh, so there's also a November 10 one at 2 a.m. I wonder why they start a stream at 2 a.m. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm back. The uh, the controller battery died, so I had to plug it in. And when the controller battery dies, the uh, microphone dies. Let's see, but it's all up on YouTube. Okay. Oh, but it's all up to you. Yeah, so you can catch up on YouTube and then follow streams. How many episodes are in Campaign 3 already? How long is the season of, of the live plays? All right, let's see what's going on here. Itakura's really lighting up. She must be in her element, but I hope it helps her get back to school. Yeah. Oh, wow, 78 episodes or so of Campaign 3? That is a lot, dude. How long is each stream? Yeah. The playlist for Campaign 1 is 121 episodes? Oh my god. I didn't know the streams are about 3-ish hours? That's a lot of content. Oh my god. Yeah. But pretty cool. Alright. Ah. Let's head to the scrimmage. Oh man. As always, we'll implement any feedback you give us during these practice matches in our development. Yeah. Sounds good. Unlocked. New parts. Yeah. Are ah, you lurking, Potato? No problem. Have a good night, Potato! Ah, and a big peacekeeper! Salute you, Potato! Potato, I... I thank you for all your support over all these months. Thank you, Potato. Peace Angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. That's why it's up to me where I want to start. Yeah. Wait a minute. Do I follow them on YouTube? I follow them on YouTube, too. Because I feel like when I watch a lot of YouTube lately, I feel like I'm watching a lot of junk. And I want to watch something a little more serious but fun, you know? Critical Role. Yeah, I don't have them followed on YouTube. There we go. Cool. Now I got something new to watch. Oh, and Diane, if you haven't seen, I uh, yesterday I did a miniature painting stream. I was painting up stuff for Marvel Crisis Protocol. Their own uh, miniatures game. 
So I, I painted up Black Widow and uh, Red Skull. So I'm painting up their starter set for the game. It's like Avengers versus some uh, of the Marvel villains. Alright, how do I get back to the stream manager? There we go. Although I was trying to find a fantasy game I want to get into. Uh, so I want to get into like some fantasy combat games too. I dug out my old uh, d and Attack Wing miniatures game stuff. I'm thinking of maybe trying to learn that again and then um, maybe do a stream of that. Like d and Attack Wing was pretty fun. It was like dragons and stuff fighting other dragons and other troops like Aracoca. Aracoca? The flying the dudes? Okay, customize. Parts rearrangement. Parts development? We gotta develop parts. Alright. Okay, we have one of these. We don't have one of these. So let's develop this. Ah, this is the new technical part we should develop. Developed! And I was looking online for the, the latest official D&D miniatures game. D&D Onslaught, but... Oh, man, it was way too expensive. Hold on, let me see how much the Onslaught starter set is. D and D on how do you spell Onslaught? There it is. Dungeons and Dragons D and D Onslaught board game core set. It's like a hundred and twelve dollars. I mean, like a lot of miniatures games are that expensive, but two, but. The miniatures are generally of better quality. I mean, the D&D minis are okay. And they are pre-painted already. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm tempted to get it, but it's still a lot of money. Yeah. And then all the, the different faction packs are like... Around 45 to $48. Kind of tempted. I do love miniatures games. Yeah, D and D onslaught. All right, did we develop the part? We did. Okay, let's try to develop. Uh, we don't have the assault basic report. We need four of those. New part. Let's develop this. So we can build better robots at the robotics club. And then Itakura can program it. Okay. Enhance output level one. Let's make this. I wish we could just skip this animation, but we can't. I like how proud he is of his creation. Enhance output by 10%. Alright, enhance move speed level 1. Let's produce this. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, and Diane, how's the D&D games going? Any new adventures? Any new creatures encountered? Alright. We don't have this. Enhance rotation speed. We're working hard here at the Robotics Club.
and ha how many more of these do we got to fudge? Well, at least we don't have the parts for all of them. I mean, that's not a good thing to say, but we, we need to win. So we build everything. Let's see, the weekend one, you fought some dragon? Abominations? Fusions? I have never heard of those, Diane. What were those like? Okay, let's build all of this. Because if we have the parts to build it, we should build it. Dun, dun, dun. By the way, anybody that's still in the chat, feel free to join in on the conversations. Or add to a new conversation. Let's see, it's like a beehive dragon? Or a dragon made of water? Oh, that's kind of cool. That is super unique. We didn't have those when I played. Boom, 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 boom. Man, imagine that beehive dragon. Does it like spit out bees? Wait a minute. A toad dragon? A dragon made of fire? That's kind of cool elemental dragons. Although I'd imagine a dragon made of fire would be redundant. <laughs> but still cool. Your dragon says they're... These wait, say these images on TikTok. Yeah, it breathes a bee swarm and has a stinger. Oh my god, that's a nightmare. I would not want to face that dragon. <laughs> oh man, imagine if you're allergic to bees, like bee stings. Oh man, this is taking a while. Let's build everything as quick as possible. Let's see, one of your members went down to the bee dragon? Oh no! That's a terrible way to go out. Okay, we're gonna run out of the IP1 data. Is the technical part about Japanese RPGs that gets kind of dull. Okay, we're we don't have these enough items to make these. All right, now we're back to the top of the list. Okay, parts rearrangement. Okay, now that we have a bunch of items to make. Uh, this is the supremacy. This one has higher power, but defense, movement, and rotation go down. So let's not do that. Battery. Okay, this gives us more battery power. So let's get one of these. Speed motor. We only have one. Shark drill. Okay. So yeah, you think you have only cast Moonbeam and Flaming Sphere as cool spells? Oh man. Uh, yeah, what what class are you again, Diane, in that game? I forgot what But man, those sound like cool spells. A druid. Yeah, so it'd be all nature stuff, right? Moonbeam. What's Moonbeam do? Like, are people, are, are certain creatures weak to, like, Moonbeam? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. I wish I could get back into D&D. &D. Okay, we could up our movement speed. 
or rotation speed? Cost. Let's increase our movement speed and our rotation speed. And let's enhance our power. Okay. Okay. Practice match. Let's begin match. Let's see. Changelings have disadvantage against Moonbeam. Ah. How big are the battles, Diane? Because it sounds like you guys are having pretty big battles now. Get him, Yagami bot. Especially with, like, bee dragons that put out swarms. All right. I forgot the button! Fudge. God dang it. Oh man, that one bullying us. I I need a Man, this gets much harder than. There we go. We did it! Good job, Robotics Club. What we have to do is we have to build a Tetris wall and we have to try to connect it to the opposing team's starter area. Either that or build the most Tetris wall. Alright, we did it. Man, but the Robotics Club stuff is tedious. All right, I think we've gathered sufficient data. Hey. Oh, how's it going, Sakura-kun? Uh, are you able to follow along with Utakura-sensei? Yes. Uh, Utakura-senpai makes it very easy to understand. And she's so nice, too. Huh? Nice? That's right. Very. I have a hard time committing things to memory, but she'll repeat herself over and over without ever getting angry. Oh. Wow, that's really something, Itakura. I like how this is pretty much just an anime. Sakura! <laughs> Sakura, I brought that reference book you mentioned last time. Huh. Itakura. Careful, Itakura. I think your heart may be showing. Mm. What? Sakura-kun is really opening up too. I should be able to learn more about the robotics club. Hey. Sakura-kun, wanna grab tea with Itakura and me? You know, a team bonding thing or something? Huh? Uh, what? Yay. Th that sounds wonderful. Let's go, Itakura-senpai. Yeah. Hey. Is this your play to get him to spill about the professor? 
You're not just gonna spring that on him, are you? Nope. No, not at all. That might put him on high alert. I'm just collecting a little bit of intel. Eh, that should be fine then. Great. Then let's meet up at the cafeteria. Alright, we increased our teamwork. Let's see, Diane says you're level 4, so not super big. Ah, oh, okay. But man, that beat dragon sounds crazy though. You're currently fighting off the Tiamat cult, attacking a monastery with a dragon slayer bow. Oh my god, Tiamat cult. And a whole monastery? Oh no, it's attacking a monastery with a dragon slayer Ma, that sounds cool. <laughs> All right, enough of the robotics club. Oh fudge. Let's see. The DM said the bee dragon was probably too much for the group, and scaled it down. It sounds like it. <laughs> but yeah, I like how the game is scalable. You know, and you know. DMs can always throw their pu uh, pull their punches. So, I mean, I know I did that a lot when things got tough for the adventurers. Let's see. What else do we have to do here? Serial high level 4. Where is that? <gasps> esports club. Fudge, I don't want to join the esports club. First floor. Huh. Mystery Research Club. Let's go back to the Mystery Research Club. Oh man, it's all the way this way. Have they, uh, I know there, there was like big talk about changes to D&D, &D, you know, rules and all that stuff. Has your group implemented those yet? Did they come out already? Let's see. There was a plot with one of the group members having a brother in the dragon cult. Oh, that's an interesting twist. Item on the floor. Dropped item. Someone might have dropped this. This this guy dropped it. Excuse me. I think you dropped this. Ah, uh, those are my pencils. Uh, thank you for finding them. I need these to take a multiple choice test. <laughs> kind of old school, isn't it? Oh man, he gave us a play pass. We need that. Cool. Let's see, no, those rules are playtest stuff. Things to try out if you want. Ah, okay. Yeah. Wait a minute, where's the minimap going? Sometimes I can't figure out where it goes. It's this way? Oh, knocking over everything. And then this way? Sorry, miss. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, here. Oh! Dump, 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 dump. And I know that they were working on, what do you call it, the D&D &D Beyond uh, thing. That's like, uh, what do you guys r use? Like uh, the Roll20 stuff, right? Have you guys figured out if, if which one's better? But I know the you have to pay for like 
uh, D and D Beyond, right? Hey, what happened here? Ah, oh, there we go, Amasawa. Let's see. D and D Beyond has maps, but you haven't used it yet. Ah, okay. Ah, thank you for coming. Amasawa. Hey, Amasawa. What is it you wanted to ask? Um... Well, it's a rather long story. Is this a good time? Ah, oh, let's hear what she has to say. Now let me drink something, because there's a lot of talking. Ah, you use Roll20. Da -da -da -da. Do you have to pay for Roll20? Let's see. Once you start this side case, everything else will be put on hold until you clear it. Proceed? Oh, fudge. Let's not do this. Oh, I decline to help for now, because it's probably going to take over an hour. Some of the really important story stuff takes a really long time to do. Sorry, Amasala. Now's not really a great time. I see. Then I suppose this will wait for later. Ah, oh, poor Amasawa. I should ask her what the matter up. Uh, we'll ask later. Let's see. A membership to use it is free, but the person making maps and icons needs to pay. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it seems cool. Are you, are the people you're playing with, Diane, are they like IRL friends or just like online people you met? Mm, let me see. I'm a little tired of the school stuff at the moment, so I want to do outside stuff. What is this? Oh, excuse me. This way. Kind of like d and Beyond, your DM buys the content and he shares it with us. Yeah. I mean, it's the same in IRL too. In IRL d and you know, the DM would have to buy the books. And, because sometimes the players don't buy books. <laughs> You know, buy the adventure book or, you know, make up like the the scenery and the maps and the miniatures and things like that for so it's basically the same thing. You have met some of them in real life and the rest is online. Ah, okay. That's cool. I forgot, how did my D&D group meet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my last D&D group, we would all... It was like a group that we hung out at uh, this game store uh, playing the Star Wars miniatures game. And then at one point, I was like, you know, the Star Wars miniatures game is based on the D20 uh, Dungeons & Dragons game. And I was like... Would you guys want to try a, you know, a D and D game? And then that's how our group started. Ah, oh, fudge! Oh man, I missed it. And stay down. Yeah. The only thing with IRL D and D is like, you know, having to deal with food. <laughs> It'll be like, 
Uh, do we do we order a pizza or do we all bring our own food or you know or do we take a break and then go out someplace to eat for a bit? <laughs> that would be like the only difference I guess with uh, online and IRL D and D. And also when people end up well no. Uh, I was about to say, oh, sometimes people end up being late for games, but I guess people could be late for our online games, too. But, you know, sometimes people are stuck in traffic or stuff like that. A lot of bad guys. Fudge. Uh, people are still late for online games? Yeah, I'd imagine that could happen. Fudge. Really, guys? Let's see if we got enough points to buy more skills. We have 5,000. I kind of think we there was things here we needed to buy. Can't afford... Master of Deception. We don't need that yet. Booze Hound. Liquor Bravery. Social Smoker. Extract Virtual. So... Huh. I guess we don't need anything there, really. Anything here for 5,000? Boost grip level. No. I feel like that we don't need those. Okay. Abilities. Everything's like starts at 10,000. EX burst. Adamantine. Press R2 at low health. Handle the heat. Taunt all nearby enemies. Oh, you have to press L3, though? I won't even remember to do that. Enhance reversal on the brink. Increase the effectiveness of mortal reversal while low health. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Any more side stories here? This is the school, so... Side stories around town? Oh no, the skateboard dudes. Alright, let's go hang out with the skateboard dudes. Oh man, I missed it. It's back to the future. Oh, fudge. Ah oh, man, I thought I thought I was in the middle. Okay. Bum 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 bum. With uh, Diane, with combat in D and D, does your group like to do uh, creative like stuff, or just stick to uh, stick to the normal combat stuff? Uh, 
because I remember one time being in a demo game. This one kid was just off the rails. You stick to normal combat? Like, this one get kid wanted to roleplay so much stuff. Uh, he would be going like, oh, okay. Uh, you know, there was... It was at a convention. So, it was like a demo game of D&D before I really got into it. And this kid was going like, oh... I flip the table over and like I break off a leg of the table and use it as a weapon and then I was like it's like oh is that really effective in the game and then like another thing is like it's like oh I run and like leap off of the wall you know to try to make my you know attack tougher and I'm like is, it, is that even allowed I was like yeah I was like this kid was like so off the rails in D&D combat And like the whole thing was just like every action he did was some kind of weird creative thing he was trying to do, which the D the dungeon master accommodated him, you know. Yeah, you could do that for flavor. I mean, I mostly just stuck to what was on my character sheet. It's like okay, I attack with my sword or. You know, I try this attack power that I have, or... You know. Like, I prefer the role-playing stuff to, like, outside of combat, because I feel like it slows down combat. So... Alright, somebody drop this. This guy dropped it. Excuse me. Ah, uh, those are my flashcards. Uh, thanks, dude. I spent all night making them. It'd be pretty useless, useless if I dropped them. Okay, what do you give us? Sturdy item, iron. It's up to the DM to see what he has to roll, like skill checks. True. So I was just wondering how common that is in D and D groups. Jeez. And stay. Like, there was, like, so much stuff I remember that kid doing. Like, I even remember him, like, because... It's like, oh, like, I... I use my rope to, like... You know... I think he tied something to the rope and then he tried to fling it or something. It's like so much, so much odd stuff this kid was doing. I mean, creative and fun, but... It was so off the wall to me. Let's see, maybe more common with critical roll? They try to do some things like that? Yeah. Because, you know, me as a miniatures gamer... You know... Like, stuff like that doesn't happen in miniatures games. It would just be what whatever your abilities actually are on the stats. So it's, it's kind of cool that, you know, in D&D, &D you, could, you could do all that creative stuff. Oh, the skateboarders. Yeah, there's a skateboard gang that we're friends with now. Hey, skateboard. Hey, fellow kids. Yagami-san. Yeah, we're about to head to the park. You want to come along? Uh, okay. Sure, I'll tag along. Cool, let's head on over.
Oh no, it's the rival gang. You guys again. Let's do this. Yagami-san, time for us to get our revenge for last time. Ah, oh, fine with me. Who am I up against? Me. Get ready. Ah. You're up, huh? Yup, and I'm starting it off. Oh no! Hmm. His skateboarding moves are so sick! 2,500 score, huh? Ah, I'm going to enjoy my turn. Alright, we gotta beat Mitsui-san's score. Blue Travel, well, the Hover one is the best one, right? Hover Skateboard. Yeah, we're one of them fellow kids. Oh, fudge, I forgot how to jump. Oh, fudge. Fudge! Screwed that up. Let's not mess these up again. Ah, oh, fudge. I'm a pro skateboarder. New skateboarding minigame. Alright, our appeal is up. Cool. Ah. Looks like I won. Uh, let's go. Chioda. Hey, Chioda. Are you the one who's been drawing the Blue King stencil? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, what? No. Someone else in my crew draws that. Why do you ask? All <laughs> oh, right, my bad. I forgot you can't draw for stuff anymore. You're useless. We really did see the downfall of Teta Chioda, artistic genius. <laughs> oh no, are you gonna let him just walk away after he said that? Hey. He said something like that last time, too. What's the whole thing about you being an artistic genius? Oh, that's all in the past. But if you want to know, I started drawing in middle school because my art club teacher talked me into it and I had a knack for it. Then I started improving pretty quickly and I managed to win awards and stuff. I saw people start calling me a genius in the newspaper. Ah, have you ever been considered uh, pursuing that path as a career then? Yeah. There were times when I thought I'd be an artist when I grew up. But that's not going to happen for me anymore. Hmm? Oh, why not? Six months ago, I had to get surgery for a condition in my hand. And now my hand's all messed up. It doesn't affect my everyday life, but I can't draw delicate lines anymore, which I needed for my art. Ah, oh, I would have never known. <laughs> but anyways, that's all in the past. Let's focus on having fun now. 
It's so dramatic. It's like I can't draw anymore. Dun dun dun. Huh. Extracts. Oh. Let's see if we can buy new skateboard stuff. Uh, exchange points. How many points do we have? Oh, we only have 13k. Budge. What is this? Extract, Vital Spirit, Skateboard, Rocketeer. Oh, we can't afford any of this. How about this armor? What is this? Defense 3, we have better stuff than that. Reduce bleeding duration by 70% and defense 7. I think we have better defense on another thing. Mm. Yeah, we, we should just save our coins. else do we want to do I don't want to stream too much longer but so I don't want to do anything that involves like heavy story stuff so are there shorter things we could do what's this wet kitchen this is Zakira let's let's try for this wait where is that Let's take a taxi because this looks pretty far. Okay. Parkour. Oh, fudge. Why can't I parkour there? Fudge. Oh, I missed. Let's try a different fighting style. Fudge. Oh no. There we go. Well, look at that. Okay, taxi. Oh, why can't I? We need to go here. I love how this is basically just a Japanese RPG. <laughs> Mixed with an action game and then mixed with like a whole bunch of story content. All right, whoop, wrong way. This way? Oh yeah. Bad guys. Nice. Really? 
Really, guys? Down, down. Missing everything. Oh, no. Oh, no. What time is it? Oh, it's past midnight already. Yeah, let's just finish do this side thing. Why is the door so hard to get through? Okay, let's try... Oh no, our health is already up. Let's see if we could order this tomato onion soup. Right. I'm starting to feel it. Eat the ducky moles. Pretty tasty. Thanks. Okay, is there something to do up here? That guy. Ah, crap! Another crash! Ah, better compile. Oh, now what? We've yet to receive a reply about the graphics on level 3? Please inform us of your decision. Why the hell are you asking me? I'm not the director! What makes you think I have any, any, any say in that? Oh, and what's this? Rewrite to account for user behavior? Why? <laughs> the game's basically shovelware already at this point. Ah, oh. oh, this guy definitely sounds like a coder of some sort. I'm guessing he's Okizaki-san, the client. Excuse me. Ah, oh, excuse me. Are you Okizaki-san? Ah. Eh? Oh. Are... Are you from Babylon? Please don't tell me you've tracked me down about the delay. No. Huh. No. I'm Takeyuki Yagami, a detective. I came here about a potential job. Oh, phew. you're just a detective. At first, I was worried you worked for our publisher. Thought you might come uh, here to tell, uh, to yell at me about how far behind we are in development. So, uh, could you tell me about this job? Oh, yes. Please, take a seat. Fight of the Game Creator. Flight. Is it flight? Uh, let's see what he has to say. Better hear out Okazaki-san. Ah, about case requests. Um... Uh, you work for a game company, right, Okazaki-san? Uh, which one is that? Hi. Yes, I'm a developer for God Tier Games. Hmm? <laughs> God Tier Games. A developer? Uh, yes. Uh, game companies are generally divided between publishers and developers. Publishers are the ones who handle the physical printing or digital release of games. They also do the marketing, event planning, those sorts of things. Developers are the ones who focus on the production, coding, writing, sound, testing, all the work inside the game. Sometimes we reach out to publishers with project proposals, while other times the publishers come to us with specific work in mind. I see. Didn't know it was divided like that. Some companies actually have different branches that cover both, but God Tier only develops since we're such a small outfit. We've got just over a hundred staffers. Oh, let me drink something. Uh, 
I'm the publishing manager. It's more or less a mid-level position. By the way, uh, what does a director do with video games? I'm guessing they're in charge or s of something, right? Hi. Right. The role can vary depending on the place, but ours is in ours are in total charge of the projects they're assigned. If I had to boil it all down, the director's biggest job is making sure the game they're creating is fun. But instead, our director vanished before the game could be mastered and sent off to the publisher. Now everyone's in a bit of a panic. Ah, yeesh. Sounds rough. This is our director, Ryuichi Shinonome. So, this is who I'm supposed to find. Uh, about Shinonomi-san. What's the guy like? Shinonome is, well, foremost, he's a genius. Really? Hi. Yes. Without him, the project wouldn't uh, have even happened in the first place. In fact, he's the one who originally pitched the idea to the publisher. The fact that it was greenlit so quickly is rather exceptional. Um. Ah, that doesn't sound common. Hi. Right, it's not. This is the first time it's happened with God Tier. Not only that, but they gave us quite an impressive budget for an initial project. Now that's uncommon. I see. Ah, so this Shinonome is a real whiz, huh? So what's the problem? Well, he's a bit moody, actually. Emotionally unstable might be more accurate. Ah, so that's why he took off. Hi. Yes, this isn't even close to the first time it's happened either. I've had to go talk with him uh, into coming back each time. But this time he got really serious about it. Apparently he made a spy game uh, a long time ago and he used what he learned during his research to disappear. He bugged the office before he left to keep tabs on us, and we think he even snuck out in disguise to keep us from noticing. Wow, that's pretty involved. But why go through all that effort to ghost a job? Shinonomi-san's basically running on single-digit HP at this point. What with all the scheduling and task management, let alone his never-ending meeting was with the publisher. He works until midnight almost every day, and even spends the night at the office most of the time. I honestly can't blame him for wanting to get away from that. Wow. Alright, about Shinonome-san's location. Well, do you have any idea where he may have run off to? Hi. Not specifically, but he does seem to be in the city still. A couple of different people have told me they've seen him around town. Huh, I wonder why he's ditched work. He hasn't left the city outright yet. Wait, okay. Well, there's a chance he's feeling confident, uh, conflicted about not delivering the game. After all, the concept was his in the first place. Honestly, he reminds me of... Wait, he reminds me the most of a runaway kid. They might storm out of the house, but they're still too attached to go very far. Hmm. Well, if he's really that attached, we might be able to convince him to come work. Come back. By the way, where was he last seen? Around Sakura River Street. That was about 10 to 15 minutes ago too. So he might still be there. I would have checked myself if not for all the work. No problem. I get it. I'll go check around here, uh, around there. Okizaki-san, 
thank God I found you. We've got a situation. Shimanogawa-san. What is it? The Babylon producer, Kinogawa. He stormed the office over the delayed master. Huh? What? Uh, I'm serious. It's real bad. He was screaming. Where's Shinonome? Over and over. He looked like he might pop a gasket any second. Oh no. I, uh, I'll see you later, Yagami-san. Please find Shinonome-san as soon as you can. Huh, game development sure sounds rough. Alright, meet the clown. Head to the faculty room. Look for Shinonome on. Okay. I think we're gonna do that next time, everyone. Yeah, it's getting late. It's already 12.30. <laughs> so, not bad at two. almost three hour stream. Let's save. Oh, wait, wait. Let's, uh. See. Can we buy anything? 5,000. Let's get more skills. Boost grip level. We might as well get this now then. Okay. Whoops. Mm. Why is this lit? Oh, these are character bios. And why is this lit? Search keyword. Ah, okay. We can do that next time. Save. Okay, let's save at 32. Alright, we're like 42 hours into the game. Man. These games are really long. Alright. Uh, my mind is blanking. Alright, we're going to call it for tonight. I'd like to thank Ruddy Rose Fox for all the bits today. And all the cheering. Thank you. I'd like to thank... Too grown for the raid and everybody that came by from the squad. A big peacekeeper salute to everyone. Peace angels in the chat. May the angels protect and guide you. We'll see. Thank you to Diane and Potato for chatting and everybody that came by. Gondo with all the cool stories. Uh, and all the squad. All right. If you enjoyed this live or as a past broadcast, please consider giving me a follow and making a new friend. Thank you, Diane. All right. Have a great night, everyone, and I will see you all next time. Peace, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>